Hi guys, how are you all? Here your Excel Guru Rajnikant with amazing questions asked by the interviewer to the person who came for the post of MIS. He personally called me and asked uh, this query, the candidate who went for interview, he only asked this query to me. Okay, he, wa he was very much confused. Okay, so the interviewer asked me this question. Before I start this session, I request everyone to like, share and subscribe. Whoever subscribed my channel, those people only get this query, other people won't get this video. Only the subscribed people only will get the notification of this video. MIS interview questions. Okay. Let's see. If it is August, it is like this. If it is like this. The dear asked that he needs the month. Whenever he type any of the month over here in this range, automatically it should display the sum of that month. Like this, October. Suppose he typed the June. Here is June. June. So see, June, one lakh seventy-six thousand nine twenty-six. One lakh seventy-six nine twenty-six. Now PQR. Now PQR. Here it is. So double two nine eight. PQR. Where it is something wrong here? PQR. Wait a minute, guys. Not changing. I don't know why it's not. Okay. Actually, I I was hard coded this one for that today is not changing. Okay. I should not do that one. First of all, I'll delete this one. I will explain you. In this video, I'll explain you month sales and sales representative names with conditional format with intersection of month and sales representative. These three things I'm going to cover you now. Okay, B and end of this video, you find this here in this end of after end of this video, you will get a note. Uh, it will get a display of seventh video of MIS interview. Okay, and here I mean here in this part you see I. So it is a series of MIS interview questions. If you click on that I, you will get all an MIS interview questions over there. Okay, guys. So first of all, I will teach you. First of all, we have to find the position of the month where it is located. So how you will find there is a match function, so it will show you the position where it is located. Okay, first one comma comma zero. So we got the position. It is six, it is already pre-formatted with currency, so it is showing like this. So I'll make it general. Okay. So sixth position. If you change this to Jan, it will show you one. Okay. From this, we have to find it. Index. Index. Open. The, we find uh, we find it out the column position, but we doesn't uh, we de doesn't find the row position. So index. Index is a two two way lookup value. Comma zero. I type zero, uh, or you can omit it by just keeping comma over there. That's it. Okay, it will understand. So I prefer zero only. Whenever this matches, the index will understand. Whenever it matches this Jan, the so index will understand. So we have to extract this value records only. The if you omit this the row and you got the column, so. Jan will this uh, index will understand when it matches the Jan, so you have to extract only the value records only. F9. Okay, Jan. Okay, guys. Control G. So some product will handle array part, some work. So some product and close okay I think I kept extra some there is something wrong I think so let's check right everything is right control enter control shift to 4 alt h9 to decrease the decimals so here also the same index now same like that this one and here we know the match but we doesn't know the column so you have to omit the column so Excel will understand that you need the whenever you match the DF value whenever you match the DF value it has to extract the only DF value 
Okay, guys. Let's check BGF F9. BGF C D twenty four lost double two eighty two double two eighty two. Control Z. Sam product. Here you have to find Sam product and close parenthesis. Okay. It is pre-formatted by currency. If you want, you can check it. I will give you the ABC. ABC. Now check it. Two lakhs forty-one thousand eight hundred and thirty-eight. Okay. Now I will do condition format for this. Okay. Alt H L N. 